Hi, and welcome back to Compliments Training Portal. I'm Jennifer Bagley, and today I want to talk a little bit about Google Calendar. This is a tool that we recommend to all of our clients. You can uh, integrate it. It's a, a mobile device. You can easily download mobile applications that work on your iPhones or Blackberries or Androids. Um, it's something you can set up with IMAP, uh, something that's very, very easy for you to uh, integrate with Microsoft Outlook or any of your traditional Microsoft programs, but basically it's free. It holds a tremendous amount of data. It's interactive and has the ability to be connected on a um, World Wide Web. And you have the ability to manage more than just one calendar. So from an effective standpoint, this makes you incredibly, incredibly effective at managing multiple calendars, sharing information with people. Uh, a lot of people right now, they're working in more of a virtual world and less in a um, traditional environment where everybody's in the same office working in the same hard server and so forth so I'm gonna go over a couple things first of all I want to show you you can have multiple calendars you can add other people's calendars so for example if you want to have my calendar uh, on your network you could simply add jbuckles13 at googlemail.com and you would be looking at my calendar my private calendar now on here um, you can also choose whether or not you want to look at specific calendars or not simply by clicking on the icons and those meetings will be removed and then re-added, removed and then re-added. So you can look at multiple views at the same time. If you have a sales team, this is a great way that we keep in touch with our sales team. If we have um, someone in business development that wants to schedule a meeting, they can simply, simply go to their Google Calendar, they can click on a date, they can schedule a meeting with with a oh, potential client need help for example and of course this is not what I would want them to put I would want them to put the client name where they met the client uh, what the client's company name is and so forth from here they can edit details they can say where that's going to so this may be a conference call if you put an address in there, it's going to actually provide you with a Google map, so it makes it very easy. They're going to put in a description, so they may put in um, the company name, client name, details, and so forth. They can add a guest. So in my situation, they would actually go ahead and put in Rose Romero because she's my assistant. And that would give Rose the ability to see that meeting request and either say yes, no, or maybe. If she says no, then they would need to reschedule that. And if she says yes, then it would immediately show up on both people's calendars. So from here, you can provide your guests with the opportunity to modify the event. So um, for example, if this was one of our sales force and they wanted to schedule a meeting, they could add Rose and give her the opportunity to modify the event. So if that particular day and time didn't work, she could try and reschedule it or work around something else. Hopefully you wouldn't have to worry about that because as they are building their event, they're also able to see my schedule and other people on the team schedule so that they can be um, a lot more accurate when they're looking at times that are available to book appointments. So it definitely is a huge time saver when it comes to our, our company. Now, great part is, I'm going to go ahead and look up these sample meetings. So one is on Saturday morning at 9. I'm going to open this back up, and let's say I want to assign this to somebody else who I actually manage their calendar. So if Rose logged in, she could go in and she could say, I want to copy this to William Preston's Gmail account. He would have the same information. She simply presses save, and you'll see that we just added this particular meeting. We copied it to someone else's calendar on our team. So it makes it very easy for someone in an office that's booking for multiple people to schedule that as well. So this is really the first lesson on how to use Google Calendar. Um, once you learn to use this, it will save you so much time. Definitely go to Google, and you can type in um, Google Calendar for iPhones and so forth, and you can easily integrate this with uh, your cell phone and be able to access your calendar on the go from anywhere, manage it, update it, be mobile, and work in today's very, very fast uh, technology and communication environment. So I hope you find this uh, quick tutorial valuable and you utilize it for your business. And we will come back and do another Google Calendar and show you how to integrate this with your website and with your client base. Thanks so much for visiting, and we'll see you online.